Are raw mushrooms edible? He couldn't take care of that anymore. Fill his stomach first. Is the dirty river water drinkable? He couldn't take care of it anymore. He drank enough first. This man was stranded on a small island in Seoul for a whole day. There are rivers on all sides here. He couldn't swim. He almost choked to death in the water. There is a bridge overhead, but the piers are vertical, no way to get out. How did he get here? Yesterday, he suicided by jumping into a river from a nearby bridge, but somehow he was washed up here by the water. It looks like God didn't let him die. After in the island, he didn't want to suicide anymore. He can't return to society, don't have to pay his loan. No one could contact him after his phone with water damage. Diarrhea and poisoning, he couldn't take care of that. He started drilling for fire, but gave up after half hour. He lighted a cigarette to rest. The island is full of rubbish thrown by unqualified people on the bridge. There is also a lot of waste washed up by the river. Some are daily necessities. He even found an abandoned duckling boat. Fill it with hay. He has a bed. The accommodation was solved. Within a few days, he was worried again. After eating raw mushrooms for a few days, he wanted meat. But he can't catch fish, catch birds, or climb trees. A good-for-nothing can only eat mushrooms. One day he was washing his hair by the river, a few fish floated up after washing. They were poisoned to death by his laundry detergent. Tonight he had grilled fish. Although it smells like laundry detergent, it is delicious and satisfying. At night, some birds came to steal fish bones. Early the following day, he found a poisoned bird. Very nice. There was a roast bird to eat. Although there is no salt taste, he enjoyed its relish. The days are getting better and better. He had already figured out the tricks and also played golf with pine cones. One day, he found an empty jajong noodle bag in the woods. Looking at the jajong noodle on the packaging bag, he felt a strong appetite. He really wants to eat jajong noodles. He dreams of noodles with jajong. As soon as he woke up, he wanted to make jajong noodles. First, he picked plants everywhere, made a lot of unknown grass, and smashed them into dregs. Pour water in and knead the dough. But this black mud ball can't use it all. He can only continue to eat grilled fish. When he was taking a nap, he heard bird droppings falling on the duckling boat, he suddenly had a flash of inspiration. He dipped a lump and looked at it. If the bird eats the crops, there will be undigested seeds in its poop. So he can grow crops. He immediately started scraping shit. Having scraped off everything, he found a place on the island with earthworm soil. He worked his field there. He began to collect his poop every day and poured it into the field to fertilize. Fearing birds eating his crops, he made a scarecrow in his suit. Three months passed, he became a senior savage, living a regular life on the island daily. Fishing skills are already at a high level. Automatic fishing can hit every shot. Climbing trees is effortless. Pick out bird eggs casually. Use the shovel to fry eggs. Use the pots and tea leaves he picked up to make tea. Use the small perfume bottle to collect the sweat. And drip a little on the fish to add flavor. His crops have sprouted. He scavenged around the island every day to see if anyone threw useful rubbish down. Until this day, he picked up an empty bottle with paper inside. It is a drift bottle. He took out the paper. There was only a word hello written on it. He suddenly remembered he had also written hello on the island's beach. Someone wrote him back. So he changed hello to how are you. The next day he received another drift bottle, which said fine, thank you and you. I believe you can guess what the following sentence is. These drifting bottles meant someone was spying on his wildling life. On this day, he saw a small corn growing out of a corn stalk. He was pleased. Unexpectedly, a person appeared on the island, a takeaway boy. He sent him three dishes of jajong noodles, original, onion, seafood, and snacks. His mysterious pen pal gave it, she really knew him well. But after thinking about it, he sent back the noodles and let the takeaway boy convey a word, Jajong noodles are his hope. If he can obtain his hope easily, it would be worthless. The next day he received a letter with I am sorry. After another period, his crops were all right. There are cucumbers, corn, edamame, and peppers. He broke off all the corn kernels, pounded them into powder, added water to knead the dough, rolled the dough with a drift bottle then cut it into noodles and put them in a pot to cook. He dug out the buried jajong seasoning and added ingredients. A bowl of Savage Island flavored jajong noodles was born. He was almost crying while stirring. After taking the first bite, his tears flowed down. His wish came true. This man wailed as he ate. For most of his life, he had accomplished nothing, but now he had accomplished a miracle. At the same time, a girl captured the pinnacle of the man's life with a camera. She is his pen pal. She has stayed in the room for three years. Her room was dark and littered with rubbish. Her life is very regular. She gets up at 8 in the morning, eats canned food with 172 calories, and step 3,000 times, turns on the computer at 9 to surf the internet, waiting for her mother to go out at 12, rushes out to the bathroom, eats 525 calorie pastry for lunch, 
Step 6000 and continue to surf the internet until 9 in the evening. She is sleeping on bubble wrap every night. Her bed is in the closet. Sometimes, her mother asks what she wants to eat at her door. She writes down and sends it to her mother in a text message. Mom cooks for her and leaves the food by the door. After her mother left, she opened the door and reached for it. She has a long camera. All vehicles stop during Seoul's twice yearly air defense drills. She will observe the world with the lens, which is her last curiosity about the world. But this time, she saw in the camera that a man was on a deserted island, and he was committing suicide. She was so frightened and dared not look at it anymore. She had insomnia that night. At midnight, she looked at the camera again. She was relieved to find that the man was still alive. From then on, she began to observe this man's life every day, watching him drag a duckling boat, right hello on the beach, laugh with bird feces in his hands, and smell jajong noodles bag every day. After observing for months, she suddenly wanted to contact him. The girl plucked up the courage to make a drift bottle and write hello. At midnight, he sneaked out, came to the bridge, and threw the drift bottle on the island. It took three months for the man to find the drift bottle. Write her back how are you? She was so happy that she slept with a smile. She continued to slip out to reply to the letter, and they started a conversation through the air. She also spends more and more time outside and notices the good life. Because she knew the man wanted to eat jajong noodles, she called a boy to deliver jajong noodles to him. Unexpectedly, he returned it. The man told her that jajong noodle was his wish, and he didn't want to get it easily. She hadn't heard the word hope for a long time. The next day she opened the door to talk to her mother, and asked her to get some corn seeds. From then on, she planted corn with the man. The man's seeds matured first, harvested corn, made noodles and ate jajong noodles. Seeing him so happy that he was crying, she felt the same way and touched the man's head in the photo. This night, she stopped sleeping in the closet and began to sleep under the moonlight. She became more and more cheerful. Until this day, the man wrote who are you on the beach, he wanted to know her, but this scares the girl because she has been alone and hidden for so long. She did not write back to him. The next day, the man searched for her drift bottle everywhere, but couldn't find it, so he wrote down why. She was unhappy when she saw it, and decided not to talk to him anymore. A few nights later, a typhoon hit Seoul, and the men on the island suffered. He wanted to save his field, but it had been destroyed. The river took away the duckling boat. He had no bed. The next day, the girl couldn't help but care about him again. She was also despondent to see him lost. Just then, a group of staff appeared on the island. They found the man and let him leave the island. He doesn't want to. After some pursuit, the team arrested the man, ignored his cries and begging, ignored his pleading, forced him to wear the clothes, and took him away. Looking at the man's desperate face, the girl suddenly felt she had to save him. With love in her heart, she no longer fears. She opened the door of the house and rushed outside. She galloped all the way, like a white horse. On the other side, the man was thrown to the side of the road, alone. On the island, he is a king, but in human society, he is a vagabond. He looked at the building in the distance where he once wanted to jump off. He got on a bus and headed there again. He took out his wallet, swiped it at the card reader, and swiped successfully. He cried and laughed. The girl was still running, but when she saw the bottle slippers, she knew he was ahead. Hearing passersby say there was a homeless man at the bus stop. She chased him all the way, but the bus had already left, she couldn't catch up anyway. She could only cry and stop running. She couldn't save him, and no one could save her. She walked back crying, like a walking dead. Suddenly the air defense alarm sounded. This is Seoul's twice yearly air defense exercise. During the exercise, all vehicles must stop. She turned back, smiled, and ran towards the bus again. Finally, she caught up and found him crying among the astonished passengers. She walked over to talk to him, introduced herself in English, and asked who are you. As soon as he heard this, the man knew she was his pen pal. Looking at her, he laughed. There is an isolated island in everyone's heart, sometimes it is filled with garbage, and sometimes it is hit by a storm. But if you grow flowers on the island, an angel will visit you one day. Watch a movie, watch a life, here is Minutes Movies, describe me, see you next time.